testing, testing. Need more light. Cheers. Hi, hello, welcome to my channel. Oh my god. Nobody told me my lipstick was running. Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about all the beautiful Valentine's Day themed plants. I did not do a January plant favorites. I was not feeling my best the past few weeks and also you guys I don't have any favorites for like the month like nothing has really changed. I just feel like I didn't really have anything to share with you so I didn't want to make a favorites video just to make a favorite video. So instead I came up with the idea of talking about Valentine's Day themed plants that I feel like you guys would enjoy and also some that I have in my own collection. Some of them I do not have or I don't have like a really nice version of. But before we get started with today's video, I really wanted to show you guys my newest grow light and talk to you all about that and do a little unboxing for you all. So let's jump back in time to a little unboxing and review of my new house grow light. So I was very kindly gifted this grow light bulb from House Bright and I wanted to unbox it with you guys and show you how I'm setting it up. So this is just a bulb. It's a replacement bulb and then you can just put it on any lamp socket that you have. So they also sent me a little socket so that I didn't have to worry about figuring out what I was going to put the bulb in since I didn't already have something for that. So I'm really excited to test it out and let you guys know what I think. So I just want to show you, I'm going to open up the box with the little clamp part that I'm going to put the light on. So it comes with all the pieces that you need. So this isn't the light, just so you know. And then let's see here. Here is the little shade part. And I should have done this on like a table, but I wasn't very prepared. So I'm going to assume this goes over the light, but let me go ahead and read the instructions so I actually know what I'm doing and I can show you guys. Okay, doing that whole part was way harder than I think it was meant to be, um, but doing it with one hand, just making sure. Okay, I'm back. Again, my freaking camera battery just died on me. I think I finally got this connected. It was very hard because you have to... I, I was there was no way I was gonna be able to do this on camera but you have to keep these connected hello focus you have to like keep these connected while twisting this little piece on right here so that it can bend when you have your light on uh maybe I don't know if it's even supposed to move like that honestly uh, I don't know if I even did this right you guys I don't know it's bending quite a lot now I'm wondering if I even did this right I think so. I don't know. This is more complicated than I expected it to be. Not gonna lie. If you guys already have a light bulb source, you can use anything for these light bulbs. Just make sure the light bulb fits in it. So it comes like this and you just pull it up out of the box like that. This was the little protector cap protecting the um, metal part here. And then they have where you can register your product as well. And it has a three-year warranty, a discount coupon, a protective LED lens cover. And again, this is their LED grow light bulb, the pure white one. So they have all the protective stuff up there as well. Wow, oh my gosh. So this is what it looks like. This looks like a very nice quality light. And I am really excited to use this. This is how the light bulb looks. So I am going to go ahead and finish installing it onto the clamp because I don't already have a little thing for the bulb. But some people, they just need a little replacement bulb. So I think it's perfect that you don't have to buy the whole setup and you can just get a bulb. I don't recommend this whole get up whatsoever. Like I am very mad at it. I don't know what to do with this. It's not working. It's not staying tight. This doesn't feel secure. This thing was made way too small for this bulb, so I'm sorry, but I do not recommend this whole situation right here. Well, there goes that. I'm just, I'm gonna take it off. I'm gonna plug it in and see what I think about the grow light, and I'm gonna let you guys know. So let's, let's do that. Let's plug it in and see what happens. Okay, so there's a little switch right here and you just turn it on. And yes, she's a bright light. 
So it will definitely help the plants, but like I said, the whole situation for it is a no-go for me. So is this how I'm going to have it? I guess. I don't know. Let me show you what I have going on here because this looks tacky, but you can't really see it. So it might actually work really well for this corner like that. Let me show you. Okay, so you can see up here, I just have the light. It is literally, it cannot extend any longer from where it's plugged in down there. But you can see this corner does not get much light ever. So this actually might really help some of these plants. Obviously not the ones up there, but I think those will be okay. I'm going to test it out and I'm going to tell you guys my final thoughts in a few days. Or, you know, a couple weeks because I want to give it a thorough test before I really, like, decide if I hate it or not. And also, I just want to make sure it doesn't get too hot or anything and it's not going to, like, burn my house down or something. So, yeah. Um, so far, the... Oh my gosh, here's all the pieces for that clip-on thing. I don't even know. Like, this right here, I would not recommend. It is so hard to squeeze as well. Um, I don't even know where I would clip it onto this metal rack anyways if I were to use it maybe like that Okay, yeah, so that would actually work super well if I could get it to work so It could just be user error. I don't know what I'm doing wrong there I'm gonna see if my husband will help me try and figure it out a little bit better, but it also came with <laughs> Here's the other piece on the floor so it comes with this whole situation I don't know the instructions say to put it around this knob and then tighten it around the light and it just doesn't make sense but I'm gonna keep you guys updated so a little update on this grow light I am actually surprisingly loving it in this corner so far it really brightens up like it just does not get light here so you can see here the Sun it is starting over here and it does eventually make its way over here but up top here it really struggles to get any light so definitely check out house grow lights you can check them out on their website or they also have an Amazon store and like I said they have three different color bulbs and you can also use the link down below for 10% off so check that out as well you guys it has just been working out so well for me no burnt leaves and it has been here for a while now um, I think I need to water this plant but yeah it is just looking so great and I'm excited to continue watching my plants grow under it and I am happy with it so thank you so much to house bright for sending me this grow light you guys should check them out and see about getting one for yourself if you're looking for bulb replacement grow lights or just like a bulb light or something you definitely don't have to get the whole contraption that they sent me which I am honestly still struggling to use but I'm sure that is just operator error and I just have no idea what I'm doing wrong so I'm going to have my husband help me figure that out eventually, but honestly, I kind of like this whole situation, so I think I'm just going to leave it. Okay, back to the Valentine's Day plants. So the first plant I want to share with you guys, and this one is going to be like so, I don't want to say basic, but it actually has the name Valentine in it, and that is the Aglionema Valentine. So I actually have this plant, and I have had this plant for quite some time now, and I will say that these guys are not the fastest grower in my care anyways, but they are a very stunning Aglionema. They are basically like your white and green version, whichever that would be called, I don't know, except it is green and pink. And I think it is really stunning. And the new leaves come in this really light pink. And then over time, like with the more sun they get or light they get, if it is under a grow light, then it will come in more pink, uh, darker pink stripes color but they definitely do come in more of a really pale light pink and green if I can find a picture I will definitely throw one up on the screen but that is going to be my first plant for Valentine's Day themed plants the Aglionema Valentine and I think it is just such a stunning plant 
and very easy to care for. Although, like I said, she has kind of been a slow grower for me, but if that is something that doesn't really bother you, I'm just picking off like a yellowing stem. Um, if that is something that really doesn't bother you, then I would definitely be on the lookout for one of these. I think it is just really cool to have in my collection, and I think it's actually one of the only aglionemas that I do have, and probably one of the only ones my hair is stuck in my mouth and it is probably one of the only ones that I will keep in my collection if I hadn't bought this one I probably wouldn't have gravitated towards it just because I'm not a huge fan of aglionema but I am really happy that I do have this one in my collection the next plant I want to talk to you guys about which is kind of a given I feel like but you know I want to mention it anyways because I have some stunning pictures of the pink princess philodendron that I actually want to share with you guys and I also have the little teeny tiniest cutting of one and she is isn't doing much and honestly she is struggling I got a little bit worried so I pulled it out of the soil that I had repotted it in I first had it in sphagnum moss in a prop box but I decided to take it out and plant it in soil because I felt like they were ready and it was ready I think I might have just put it in way too big of a pot even though the pot it was only like four inches I don't know but it started going downhill so I took it out of the soil and I just stuck it right back in water which is my tried and true method of propagating or saving a dying plant so I just keep it in this pickle jar for now and it's actually in there with another plant that was struggling but we're not here to talk about that one today so a philodendron pink princess and I think that it is such a stunning plant like the fact that it comes in pink is just unreal to me plants are seriously truly so incredible I really have enjoyed just getting to know them and getting to learn about them even more and adding so many of them to my own plant collection so another plant that I do have in my collection is this pink syngonium and I am not sure exactly which one this is if you guys know definitely let me know in the comments below but the new growth comes in this gorgeous gorgeous shade of pink and I think it is just so stunning this is actually two plants that I've collected and possibly potted into the same pot and I'm looking at them now and I'm unsure if it's even the same two plants. You can see how this one has more of the pink just in the center and then it goes out to the dark green and then this one has a completely pink leaf. Although it could just be randomly, you know, how the leaves come in, different shades of pink or with more pink than others. I'm not 100% sure. Definitely let me know in the comments. I'm also like checking these plants for pests as I am going through them just because I am currently dealing with a thrips outbreak unfortunately so I just want to double check all my plants so yeah this really gorgeous pink syngonium is something I feel like any plant lover would love to have on Valentine's Day so if you want to gift somebody a pink syngonium definitely check out like big box stores because I have seen pink syngoniums for like five bucks maybe being sold at Lowe's and Home Depot's so head over to those stores and check them out and just see what you can find if you have a houseplant lover in your life. The next plants that I want to talk to you guys about are actually the Hoya Crimson Queen and the Hoya Crimson princess here I have a queen and look how gorgeous these new leaves are so some of them come in this really pink color as you can see right here it is such a like really light shade of pink and then they go into this whiter color and you can also see how the stems have or the petioles whatever those are called they have the pink up there and I think this plant is seriously stunning and I feel like anybody would love to have this one in their collection this one is the crimson queen but I also have the princess I wanted to show you guys as well just because that one comes in with like a deeper pink variegation on it so the pink comes in from the middle on that one so it's kind of a different variety and sometimes if you can't find one you can definitely find the other that's why I wanted to include them both in this video so the Hoya Crimson Queen and the Hoya Crimson Princess are a must-have for any plant lover in your life and if you wanted to give somebody for Valentine's Day a plant I recommend one of these the next plant I want to talk to you guys about is a pretty controversial one and we are going to get into the ins and outs of this plant really quick so yes this may look like it is just one of those you know basic leaf cuttings like seriously a leaf 
people destroy beautiful Hoya carii plants just to pot up a leaf that will never ever grow into a plant. However, sometimes you might be lucky, which I think I might have gotten one of the ones that have a node attached, which actually I know it has a node attached, but you can see right down here, there is a node right there growing, and I have actually seen it grown since getting it. Sorry, I'm losing my voice. I'm still a little bit sick. Ugh, anyways. But I think this one is so gorgeous, and especially when it is a more full-size plant. There is also a variegated version, but unfortunately, I do not have that one. Rewind. Back to the whole debate on this one. So, a lot of people, especially around Valentine's Day, they will sell this one-leaf Hoya Carii cutting. And this leaf will never grow into a plant. It will end up turning to mush and dying probably within a month, if not shorter sometimes longer depending on how often you water it which I recommend don't watering it because then it turns to mush because I had one and I did it so I know what happens so I fell into that trap you know but it's okay it's a lesson learned but you guys seriously don't just go buying these plants thinking oh my god it's a heart it's so cute it will never grow into a plant unless it has a node so again I'm gonna show you the little node right down there and you can see right there um, I'm going to move my finger so it can focus, but that little piece coming off the side there is where a new plant will slowly, very slowly, but surely grow. So this plant will definitely grow over time, but it's going to take some time and patience, but I don't mind. It was only $5. I found this at Walmart, you guys, and I didn't even have to like dig through the plants to see if any had a node. I could see it sticking up and I took the risk. I wasn't sure if it was like a dead node or like dried out or anything or if anything would ever grow from it and I have been watering it every so often and it has started to grow so that is super exciting I will definitely be keeping you guys updated so if you're not already subscribed to my channel for future updates on my plants the next plant I want to talk to you guys about while I have it here in my pl my planned my hand because I just had to well there's two of them but you know one at a time I get ahead of myself too easily but um let's go ahead and talk about this one first this one is my Hoya Hush shoot okay let me try to figure out how to say this my Hoya Hushkaliana Hushkaliana there we go Hoya Hushkaliana Vergata and you guys I have an exciting announcement to tell you about this plant. It is finally starting to grow. I have had this plant since August. That is when I purchased it for almost $50. Can you believe that? Almost $50 for this one leaf, two leaf, one node cutting. Oh my God. Anyways, it was worth it because these are a pretty penny for a full-size plant so one day it will grow i was a little bit worried not gonna lie because it looks like it started peduncling or it had a peduncle so it had flowered before i got it right up there and obviously i didn't get it with any flowers or anything but it never flowered so i was like okay that was a old peduncle it already flowered i guess and i was like i don't see any nodes where is a new leaf gonna come out from and then down in here you're not gonna be able to see it it is just so tiny you guys but there was like this little um the stem piece from where it looked like it had actually been snipped before so this wasn't a top cutting right so it looked like there was no node and I was like, oh my god, I bought a $50 two leaf cutting with no node. So I snipped that piece off because it was totally dead. It was like crusted over and everything. And I just kind of like snipped it off with the, the teeniest tip of like my thinnest scissors. And I just looked at this today and I saw the new little growth point coming in and I am just so freaking excited. Uh, let's see if my camera will get in there on that if you guys can see let me know in the comments but if you have no idea what you're looking at also let me know in the comments the next plant I want to show you guys while I have it here out of my little Ikea terrarium thing is this Tridescantia I'm not sure if this is the Danny Lee I think this one actually might be the Danny Lee and look at how gorgeous it is and this one is okay I don't recommend this one to like new plant 
parents because she is definitely a trickier one and I think I need to water it again. These plants dry out very fast just because there is no like insulation in my little Ikea greenhouse thing that you guys would have seen on my new Ikea plant shelves. I got it all in the same day but anyways so I keep this in there and I have to water them often because they are in moss so it dries out pretty fast but look how gorgeous this Tradescantia variety is and honestly any Tradescantia I would recommend to you or to anybody for, you know, a plant lover as a gift. But this one, especially because of the pink and the white and the green and just how gorgeous it is with so much white in there and then the little hints of pink. Or maybe it's like purple. I don't know. Whatever. Pink or purple. It's gorgeous and I love it so much. Let me know what you guys think about Tradescantia if you like them or not. I have the... A Zabrina one, but I think this one is more Valentine's Day-ish. The next plant I really want to show you guys, even though you have seen it before, that is my String of Hearts variegated version, and I especially want to talk about this one just because obviously it has the pink in there with the more lighting and sun stressing it gets, but it is the white and green variegation, and then there is some with the pink backings depending on how much light they get they don't all have pink backings i've noticed um some are more just white and green but anyways this one is coming down in price which is really exciting because this one did used to cost quite a bit for just a little cutting which is what i had originally gotten and then i found two more small pots for $22 so I bought those and then I combined all three plants together and here we are now and if you guys had seen one of my plant hauls when I got this or when I got those um, extra ones and then I put them together you have seen how it started it out uh, how it started <laughs> I can't talk you will have seen how it started out Oh my god. Nobody told me my lipstick was running. You might not be able to see, but I can. So yeah, this one is definitely one that I recommend. It is super easy to grow. I just water it when the little hearts start to wrinkle and I don't know if it needs water right now because some are wrinkled. No, it still feels wet, but there's like a strand here that is kind of struggling. But they also did get yanked out a little bit when I was like moving plants around on the shelf. So I actually keep it with a little cup underneath so that it gives it more height on the shelf and it doesn't get snagged as easily because it is a long plant, as you can tell. I love this one so, so much. I feel like every houseplant lover needs one of these in their collection. I don't know. Some people love them. Some people hate them. I just think they are one of the easiest houseplants to grow. Also, just the regular version. I should show you guys my big one. Hold on. Let me go get that one because I also definitely recommend that one to you guys. But she's a little big. So, hold on. I'll be right back. Okay, so I cannot even get this one completely in frame, but this is my regular string of hearts, and I have an entire care guide on how I care for these guys. Just in case you are curious how you can get a string of hearts this beautiful and lush, but I totally recommend a string of hearts starter for any plant lover in your life that doesn't already have them in their collection. I feel like these are actually a staple in almost everybody's collection, but... Like, seriously, you guys, what is happening here? But I just love them so much, and seriously, you cannot go wrong with a plant that looks like a heart. Like, it is unreal to me how nature just does this. A man did not create this plant. It was like, I'm going to make you a heart, right? Can that happen? I need to look that up. But I love it so much, you guys. It is so easy to care for, and she just will not stop growing. Sooner or later, I'm going to have to do something with it because it is almost touching the floor. String of Hearts is a 10 out of 10 recommendation for a Valentine's Day plant. Oh, oh, never mind. I forgot. Don't worry about it. Do you want food? No. What are you going to eat? I made a pizza. Okay. What are you going to eat? I'm gonna get some food because I'm hungry. Well, let me know from where. Well, I don't know where I'm gonna stop you. Oh, okay.
No, it'll be old. It'll, don't worry about it. Okay. Bye. Husbands, am I right? Had twins and then a cat. Ugh. Okay, so I also did want to mention the Piper Croatum plant, which is really gorgeous. And I just recently got a cutting, which I will show you guys here. But the leaf does not look like that anymore. I'm pretty sure I burnt the leaf on accident. But it's okay because I have it now in a little bag. That's it. It's like its own little greenhouse situation. And I'm hoping I can still grow something from the node. So I will definitely keep you guys informed with updates on that plant. But this is what it looks like before I murdered the single leaf. And I'm just really excited to add this one to my collection. It was a wishlist plant of mine. And yeah, I think it's super gorgeous and definitely a Valentine's Day themed plant. But they can definitely be on the more tricky side. So I would recommend these for more advanced plant lovers. So I think that about wraps it up with all the plants I wanted to show you guys today. So I did have all of them on the list, just not all of the like pretty versions or the most exciting looking versions of the ones that I mentioned. I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, definitely give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below what you think is a really great Valentine's Day plant. I would love to hear from you. Thank you so much for joining me today and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!